The truth is, being a successful independent artist in 2021 has never been more possible. With everything that an artist will need to start and prosper in the music industry being more attainable than ever, artists can now live their dreams of being successful artists without ever having to be owned by a record label. And I'm going to tell you exactly how it could be done. Join me in this episode as we uncover the truth on how to be a successful independent artist. The music industry, like every other industry, is a business. And when people start businesses, they do it with the goal of making money. This is the same when it comes to making music for most artists that would want to actually make a living off their hard work. This is where record labels come into play. They would fund the artist's production of their music, design a marketable image for the artist, and then get the artist in front of the world. This made signing to a record label very desirable for an up-and-coming artist. The thing is that record deals have been rigged since the beginning by greedy record label execs to force artists to sign deals that would put most of the artist's money in the pockets of the execs, leaving the artists underpaid. Before the internet merged with the music industry, artists had really no other way of making it in the industry without label support. Studio time was not affordable and studio equipment was way too expensive for the average person to be able to obtain. Artists really had no other way of making high quality music or getting it heard without record labels signing them. This made record labels the gatekeepers to the music industry, controlling who gets in the music industry and when it's time for them to get out. As time passed, the music industry will start to slowly merge with the internet, and as technology improved, studio equipment became more affordable and attainable to the average artist. This would send ripples to the music industry and create a whole new path that wasn't possible before. An unknown up-and-coming artist can now afford to record their music at studios or even their own home studios. They were also able to market their music on social media, building a fan base from the ground up without ever needing a record label. If you're an artist and you want to be successful without having to lose most of your royalties to a record label, you would need to take the independent artist route. This route would be much harder to take and much longer, but if done correctly, you'll be able to reap all the benefits of owning your royalties and being independent. Being independent requires four main things. One, the artist needs to be talented and consistently working on their music. Two, the artist needs to have access to money, the more the better. Three, the artist needs to create a sellable, believable image that will draw in fans. And four, the artist needs to create a successful marketing plan so they can get their music heard. It's obvious why talent will help an artist become successful, but if an artist isn't talented enough, they may still be able to make it in the industry with the required amount of hard work and dedication. But they must remember that they are behind those artists who are naturally talented and they must work twice as hard as them. Music is something that can be taught, so if a person truly wants to learn how to sing or make beats, those things can be learned. Even if an artist is talented, being independent requires you to be better than most artists that are signed and have record label support. This means that the artist must consistently improve their music, so they must make sure to always work on their craft. They must attempt to make every song better than the last song they created. This becomes a bit difficult for an independent artist that are trying to improve their music while recording at professional studios that charge artists by the hour. By not having a record label funding an artist, artists can't really afford to go to studios and make lots of songs in hopes of one of those songs being good because the more songs they record, the more money they have to spend. This is a quick way to ending an independent artist's career before it even begins by running out of money. Independent artists should invest in affordable equipment so they may work on their records at home. They can learn the basics of using software such as Pro Tools or GarageBand by simply watching YouTube tutorials. By doing this, artists can easily save thousands by working on songs at home, and when they feel like they've created a good song, they can then go to a professional studio to re-record the song professionally. The song will then need to be mixed by a good mixing engineer for as long as required. This can take a few hours or even days, which could be pricey, but if the artist truly believes in a song, it is crucial in making that song sound professional and finished. After mixing the song, the song will need to be sent to a mastering engineer for finishing touches to make the song as loud as possible. Mastering engineers have tons of experience, so they can add the finishing touches to a song that can take it to the next level. A good mastering engineer can be a bit pricey, but remember, this should only be done when an artist is 100% positive in a song they believe in. They have shown the songs to as many people they know and have gotten mostly good reception. Having access to money is just as important as having talent. It actually might be more important. 
Just like any other business, an artist's music career is going to require them to invest their money into funding production and marketing of their music. If an artist doesn't have money or anyone investing in them, then they must find a way to change that. Just like people that start businesses from the ground up, they must do the same and find a way to make money even if it means working a job that has nothing to do with music and saving as much of that money as possible. People that start their own businesses usually spend a few years saving their money before investing in opening a business. This is the same thing an artist needs to do as they work on their music because believe it or not, music production costs nothing next to marketing. Artists should work on saving money as they work on bettering their music. So when it comes time to hit the studio and record a song, they have the necessary funds to cover all expenses. Once an artist has gotten their money together and has recorded a song that they feel ready to present to the world, before doing so, they have to focus on their image first. When an artist introduces themselves to the world, they must assure that they set the perfect first impression. Just like any successful business, artists need an image they can be remembered by. For example, a person will most likely go to a restaurant that has nice decor and has a unique menu than one that looks bland and their food options aren't interesting. It's important that an artist comes up with something that can easily brand them to help fans associate them with. Just make sure you keep your image based on your actual lifestyle. Do not try to be someone you're not to sell records. That's like opening a French restaurant and hiring a chef that has no idea how to cook French food. Customers will be able to easily tell the food isn't authentic. Just like music consumers that artists would like to turn into fans of their music. They can tell if an artist is trying too hard to be someone they're not and won't resonate well with the audience. Artists must make sure their image is based on things they live by or do that fans can relate to. Artists have to find a way to entertain their fans with their image on social media, building their online presence to reflect the image they have chosen. It is important for an artist to make sure that they always look presentable and in character when in front of their audience. So photos that don't align with an artist's image should be deleted. The artist must also pay a videographer to film a professional music video where an artist can strongly establish his image. After an artist has gotten their image together, recorded their hit song, shot their music video, and saved them some money, it's time for marketing before uploading that song onto a direct streaming platform. But this is when the hard part begins. Marketing is one of the most underlooked aspects of the music business. Just like every successful business, artists need a way to get their product to the masses. Record labels have been able to perfect their marketing methods using their connections with major media outlets to promote their artists. As an independent artist, you may not have the connection that a record label has, but what you do have that a record label has is money, and most media outlets will promote whoever is willing to pay them. Artists would have to contact media outlets' business emails located on their websites or social media pages. Paying mainstream independent outlets like Warstar Hip Hop, Say Cheese, No Jumper, and DJ Academics may cost thousands of dollars. But if an artist properly prepares themselves financially, they can make sure they have the amount of funds needed. When an artist is marketing a song, they must remember that that song needs to be heard consistently. When a consumer sees a product consistently, it may give them the urge to give it a shot. The same goes with an artist's music. A person may hear a song once but not really give it a shot. This is why it's crucial a good song is properly worked because the third or the fourth time that song is heard by that same person, they can start to realize that they actually like that song. There is no such thing as too much marketing. The more a record is worked, the more of a chance that record has of taken off. When an upcoming artist is signed to a record label and drops a single, you can see that artist everywhere being promoted on big media outlets. An independent artist needs to replicate that to the best of their ability. Artists cannot be afraid of spending money on promoting their work. Just like any other business, you must take risks in order to get a business to make profit. An artist has to have money and be willing to spend the money needed to make a song take off. As you do this, you will start to grow a fan base. This is when local promoters will start to contact the artists in order to book them. This would allow the artists to start to do small local shows and continue to build their fan base. When the artist fan base gets big enough, big media outlets will promote them for free because they want to draw their fans to their sites. When this starts to happen, an artist is close to finally seeing good money for their work. Once an artist reaches this point, they can quickly attract record labels that can offer publishing deals that can help artists with the marketing of their music for a percentage of the royalties. This is much better for an artist as it usually lets the artist keep most of their royalties. The record label will now get your music everywhere while you focus on making quality music. If an upcoming artist follows these steps, they would have a much bigger chance of making it in the industry as an independent artist. 
they won't need to sign a deal that would essentially make them property of a greedy record label with sinister intentions. An independent artist will always be able to decide what they want to represent, never being forced to sell out or go against their morals. A perfect example of this is with the artist A Boogie, who blew up back in 2017 after recording a song with Kodak Black. Before he was signed, he had his song Still Think About You pick up lots of traction back in 2015 locally in New York after a couple of his friends, QP and Bubba, decided to manage him and invest money into his music career. QP and Bubba would pay to have A Boogie perform in local showcases and get his music to local DJs. They started working him on social media and booking A Boogie for local shows. This led A Boogie to get tons of recognition quickly, gaining thousands of fans in the New York area. This is when the record labels came knocking. Drake even tried signing A Boogie, which he smartly declined. He eventually partnered with Atlantic Records and was able to take his career to the next level without having to take a bad deal or change his morals, neither his image. A Boogie still looks pretty similar to how he looked before he got famous. This is why it's important for an artist to build a fan base independently. Depending on a label may cost you more in the long run. It's better to be able to make your money on your own without having to be told what to do. It allows you to keep all the rights to your music and all the rights to your soul. Thank you for watching this episode of The Truth Is. If you would like to further support the channel, join me on Patreon, the link would be in the description. If you join before the 28th of this month, you could be entered to this month's monthly raffle where you can win a shirt, a cash prize, and even pick a video topic. Also, please leave a comment below on your thoughts on this video and on any future topics you would like to see me cover on my channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button as this helps other people find these videos. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified of future videos. Please follow me on Instagram at the true fizz 01 and on TikTok at the true fizz. I would gladly appreciate it. Thank you. Goodbye.